what is up guys it is captain glitch here and today we have a map tutorial coming at you for mage it's going to cover everything map related so a mini map builder which we got here the map editor itself uh, how to do everything with that and how to position your room on the correct coordinates in the map so we're going to cover the ladder first because it would be pointless to build your room to build your map and then have to reposition the rooms according to that i don't know that. Um, it's just important to know first so this is the mini map editor a little button you can also go to editors and also click mini map editor so as you can see we have a lot of stuff here but first we want to take a look at the coordinates thing so you see where my mouse is these are coordinates this is X this is Y position so let's go ahead and build the thing real quick I shouldn't have to cover how to actually place tiles. You just click them, place them. You can drag. That doesn't work, you see. And you can't drag like that either. It doesn't do anything. So, but you can right click and left click, right clicking copies, left clicking places, and unless you're on this side, which it'll also copy. So let's just build a, a weird little outline. Let's just build the exact same room. Let's just do that and we want the room to start there so we actually want what we need to do is to first consider how big the room is so you're gonna want the scrolls to show up not the scrolls sorry the screen outlines and count how big they are so we got four by five which that's not too important we just need to know this one so the map where the room is determined on the map is determined by the very first screen which is the top left so we want to put the top left about here see two tiles up this is why counting your screens is important because our viewable screens are the third one but we have two other screens that aren't viewable so we want to position our room starting at 11 10 so how you change that is you just simply go into the header editor and you see we got map map x 11 and then y 10 hit apply and let's go ahead and test it in the wrong see how it looks and as you can see our room is now positioned there on the map that is very excellent so that's basically how you do that. Uh, obviously, uh, you would do it according to your hack, not the really cheap way I did it. Just That's basically how you position rooms on the map. And you already saw how to place things. So we already got those two things out of the way. So you can view different areas by using this drop down. These areas aren't really used. I wouldn't worry about these. I think they're just there just for show. Uh, but for the most part, worry about these areas. This shows what a t tiles, what it would look like, what the map would look like if it was fully explored. This is what the map would look like if you went to a map station. So if you went to a map station and went nowhere else, this is what the map would look like. And this is what the map would look like if you just entered the area and didn't go to a map station or anything like that. So those are the how to view it. These are actually how to set it to do certain things so again start it does the same thing if you set a tile to be start hold on let's put it in burn star as soon as you spawn in it's going to look like this if you pause the game you're going to see this tile right there and it's going to look like that if we set it to normal it'll what oh that's why if we set it to normal it'll be there but you won't see it at the start you'll see it if a map scans it or if you explore it if you set it to heated it's the same thing as normal except it changes the palette you can manually change the palette on the thing if you wanted to do that but it, this does it for you and you just place it and it acts the same as normal if you want hidden it'll automatically change the palette again 
and these will not be revealed at the start or with the map station so you can only see them if you touch it so this is what these are if you were to go to the map station for Brentstar when it would scan these green areas would not appear because they're all hidden if we right click it we see it's hidden so and then there's also heated hidden which same thing uh, you won't be able to see a palette difference just because they use the same palette but uh, heated hidden functions the same way as hidden tiles and then here you can edit the background just of this thing just so you can see something better if you were to manually edit the palette yourself a uh, good rule of thumb is just to keep it black unless you have black map tiles like deep freeze had for instance here you'll see map graphics you can export these and edit them as you choose if you click edit on that I believe it's 10 I don't remember how many rows so I'm just gonna guess yeah it's not that many there's a lot of map rows these are all the map palettes let's shrink that a bit let's see that's five Yes, so these are all the map palettes you're going to use. Uh, there's some more, they're documented on the wiki. So if you have trouble with like map tiles animating and stuff, check the wiki. Uh, I'll probably link it in the description just for ease, for your con um, convenience. But for the most part, that's where you find the palettes, that's where you edit everything. And this is where you find the graphics. But if you don't want to edit graphics, so let's say you want to make vanilla looking map tiles and you're saying oh I have to edit the graphics for that actually no if you're not making custom like extravagant map tiles you can go to this little thing the mini map tile builder and as you see we have a mini map tile sitting right here it's just blank you see you have a bunch of things and let's just go uh, go ahead and show off what these do so if you click corner it's gonna add a little pixel right there that's nice wall is going to add a straight edge so if you take away corner wall is just going to add that connection is going to add a little hole again corner is not needed if you have that corner is really only needed to be checked if you have nothing right there so let's just make this normal hatch you'll see hatches are here but not up here because there's no vertical hatches and normal zero emissions so this connection get all, all the kind of different kinds of hatches again you wouldn't need corner checked because there's things there and you, there's another drop down here this adds a variety of things you can add a chozo statue symbol an item room symbol a map room symbol which pretty much takes up almost the whole thing except the two sides so if I was to change this to nothing, it would be blank. If I was to change it to wall, it would change it. It would automatically be red. Like so. And then there's the save room symbol. The unobtained, the obtained tank symbol. Unobtained or nothing. And right here, this is the tile it's going to replace. So let's go ahead and open up the map editor again. See what tile that is. You see tile one it would replace this tile so just keep that in mind there's also a patch in mage to give you more mini map tiles to work with see add mini map tiles just apply that and then you'd have more room to work with so let's go ahead and make one of those What can we make? Let's, let's make something weird. Let's just put power bomb hatch and then put a, another connection. Let's put another wall. There we go. Let's click apply. It's going to replace the first tile. As you can see, since that tile is used everywhere, it replaced a lot of things on the map. But there we go. We got our, our custom little thingy -ma -boo -boo. and that's it so that's pretty much how you use that you can really if 
you won't need to edit map graphics at all unless you have some really fancy stuff going with this with this little editor here which is really neat and then also here you can just change the palette which is kind of hard to see with that right there so you can see what the palette looks like for each so that's neat to know so a couple things to know about how the map actually works in all the tiles will work properly when placed, except these Japanese or Chinese, I think they're Japanese. Uh, if you place these, they will be replaced by the counterparts above them, just because, uh, I guess, since they're unused, and that was just the developer's way of making sure they stay that way. So, placing these will not work if you edit these tiles. If you were to place a custom tile on top of that, it would just get replaced by this. So, these tiles are unusable. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the, all of the bottom row is unusable. I'm not sure. I know that at least the Japanese wording is unusable. So you can t try that out for yourself. And how item pickups work. So if you were to make a custom item tile, you're going to also need a picked up version. Unless you disable, let's use the hex tweak that disables uh, updating the map when you get an item. And how that works is really simple. When you pick up an item, all it does is change the displayed map tile to the map tile next to it. As you can see, this is a blank, all around blank tile with just an item in it, next to it, all around blank tile with an obtained item in it. And you can see that's the trend everywhere, including with the item balls, it turns into a chozo. So, it's really simple. If you wanted, when you picked up an item for it to turn into a save room symbol, you put the item thing right here and then once you pick up the item it'll turn into a save symbol pretty simple stuff and that's really basically the gist of editing maps is it's really pretty simple um, always make sure you click apply when you're done otherwise when you close it out and if you close your ROM without saving it's not going to take effect and you're going to have to do it over again Another thing I suggest, which something I personally do, is I build my map before I build my room. Which so may not work for everybody. Some people might just build their room and then build their map, which is fine. But I personally always build my map first. Um, we're on a room by room basis. Some people even build the whole area before building the rooms, just so they have a, a progression idea of how they want to design everything. So ultimately, you're going to have to decide what works best for, th for you that's basically what all of hacking is but that's one thing I suggest you try see if it works so that's basically it for map editing thanks for watching hope this helped you guys out I'll get more of these tutorials out um, maybe about some more advanced stuff as well but for now we're gonna want to cover all the basics such as sprite editing how to use the BJ0 because there's a lot to do with that so expect to see those in the future.